people. Hope y'all doing fantastic. I'm thinking about selling my trucking business. It's just a thought that came through. Um, but let me go ahead and give you the, give you all the details of any potential interested parties. I have a 1990 Kenworth W900. It's ELD exempt. It's probably about 150 maybe about $150,000 on a uh, a rebuild Caterpillar 346B rebuild rebuild. You get that? You get a 2019 Mack trailer, flatbed trailer, 48102 trailer. You get all the contacts, all my contacts, my broker contacts. I have one, two direct customers. Now this is for the Northeast area. I don't know if this now, I don't know if this will work for you out in, in somewhere across the United States. You'll get those contacts. And you'll get, as of right now, a four month old MC number which is good standings, which has good standings and good report with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Association, F FMCSA, FMSA, you know, the Federal Motor Carrier thing. Federal Motor Carrier people, right? Um, got a clean bill of inspection, the last inspection had done. So you'll get all that for, well, the they ask me price is 150000 and out of that 150000 I will stay on. You can put me on as an equity partner. So that way, you can still get your insurance. You know what I'm saying? So, because once it changes hands, then you're going to have to get new insurance. You probably have to get new insurance and then pay probably double than what I'm paying right now, or at least triple. So, you get all that in the sale. Well, how much is it, brother, man? 150,000. 150, come on, brother, man. That old raggedy truck and that trailer, I can go out and do all that stuff, and I can go out and do all this. I know, I know you can. But there are people out here that would rather buy something that's turnkey, that's already set up. Nothing wrong with that. If you can do it yourself, cool. But there's other people that will do it for you, right? So I'm presenting the, what, the work that I have done over the last couple years. I'm putting it up for sale. So if somebody's interested, it's going to be $150,000. Come on, brother, man. You you got something up your sleeve. You, you're going somewhere with this video. You are absolutely right. I am. Now, there's one scenario, right? Now, I could cash out this business. Let's say somebody comes to me and wants to pay $150,000 for turnkey operation. Jump in the truck, start pulling broker loads next week, right? Um trailer be paid off I'll take out of that money I'll pay the trailer off right everything will be debt free there's another scenario to where let's say you follow the trend that's going on on YouTube right you go out and you buy oh no excuse me you go out and you lease a handful of trucks Maybe you're making revenue, maybe you're not, don't know. Well, making a profit off your revenue, right? Maybe it's working for you, maybe it's not. <clears throat> you got a handful of trucks, then you put your business up for sale because of whatever reason, right? You wanna sell it at a profit, you know, whatever. People have different reasons why they sell things. So you put your business up for sale. Potential buyer comes along now, a potential buyer looking at my business, they're saying, okay, well, he got this, 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 this. It's basically a turnkey business, and compared to everything else, like if I started this from scratch, it would cost me a lot more than what he's selling it for, and it's, everything's already set up. Now, that's fast forward to the lease thing, right? So you got a handful of trucks. You don't have your own authority. Now, this is from somebody looking to buy a trucking business that's already set up. You're running under somebody else's authority. You're leasing the equipment. They say, okay, well, okay, I see you're, 
you you have your trucking authority i mean you have a trucking business okay okay the numbers are okay um well let's see let's look at your your asset column what, what do you have in your asset column okay i'm looking at the trucks um how many of these are owned uh well those are all leased oh okay those are all leased well we're not quite interested in that okay you got all these trucks maybe you got um uh two three trailers per truck that you own maybe you own the trailer you're just leasing the trucks and maybe you own the trailers um do you own the trailers uh well no no we don't own the trailers we uh we, we pull somebody else's trailer oh so you're in the power only business well oh, okay you got your own contracts and th well no we just work under somebody else oh um and how much are you asking for this what whatever that number is oh well i'm sorry that that that's we're looking for businesses with with assets um we're not looking for uh a whole a business built around a lease that's like uh buying a franchise and trying to sell it um which people do that i mean i'm not saying but i'm just trying to get you to think to where the younger generation they will see and i was there too they will see you know this this information put out in various forms and everything like this about building a, a business under not doing it on your own whatever that is right um not being in 100 percent total control however you can as close as you can get to that and they'll get jacked up because when it's time if you have to sell now this is just coming forget the youtube i'm i'm the youtube truckers are right here i'm coming up here to business level if you have to sell and you don't have nothing in your asset column it might be a tough sell depending on you know who's interested in your business if you decide to sell so i know that video is all over the place it was probably a lot deeper than um a lot of these trucking videos that that are out here but that's just something to think about um and I'll, I'll just go ahead and say this if you're new to the channel right now i'm in this trucking space and i've i don't know everything i'm still a novice at business i'll just go ahead and say it like that so that way everybody is way up here and i'm still everybody's way up here and i'm still down here so everybody is way more experienced in business than i am but i look at this stuff and i look at how companies operate and if you make enough noise and whatever in certain industries the big players will occasionally sometimes knock on your door and maybe give you an offer that you can't refuse but if you don't have any assets you may not even get an offer